Hey everybody, welcome to another episode of My Bucket List Day. Hey everybody! Hey, and here's Joe. I'm here. So today we have to apologize that last week, Sunday, or a few days ago, we did not launch an episode. And that is because I was overwhelmed with so many things that I had going on. And he it was at a party. He was. <laughs> no, he wasn't. We were out doing th some things and we got home late Yep. and didn't have time to finish editing and launch the video. So I didn't get to it and the next day I was very, very busy with work and stuff like that. So I apologize for that. And then on top of that, I accidentally lost a little video content. What? How'd yeah. you do that? I was playing with the buttons that, on the They're camera. not toys. Keep your fingers off the, to the camera. That's yeah. a toy. So I screwed up and lost a little content, so I was like, oh, shoot. So I didn't have time to re record everything. Anyway, so I just gave up on Sunday, and here we are in a new episode today. So we'll get into that right after this. Stick around. Right. Be right back. So, in this episode, we're actually going back in time. In time before. Way back. He was like 12 or 13 years old. <laughs> <laughs> just kidding. It was <laughs> actually just a couple of weeks before Joanne joined me on That's this right. journey. That's right. So, Joe is not in this video. Nope. We were. Kind of uh, boring. It's not boring. It was a lot of fun. Well, it was boring without me. Oh, yeah. I, yes, of course. Say so. <laughs> it was boring without her. Anyway, <laughs> this is when we were up in uh, Glacier National Park and I uh, was up there because my friend Tony and Candace got married up there. So several of us close friends were up there celebrating that. So the guys decided to get together and we all went fly fishing. And this was my first time. It's always been kind of on my... It was horrible. Can I... It let... was horrible. Okay, can I let them find judge? that out themselves? Or judge <laughs> me? <laughs> judge you? <laughs> They judge me every week, trust yeah. me, if you read the comments. All right, so we'll get right into it, and it's uh, out fly fishing in Glacier National Park. And yes, you guys can judge me, because you will see, <laughs> while everybody had a successful day... Fisherman Bob here. I will not tell you what happened, you just have to watch and see what happened, and you'll get an idea of that. Anyway, sit back, relax, and enjoy, and we'll be right Grab back. Grab your popcorn. All right, everybody, here we are. We're about to go fly fishing. And we are with Glacier Guides, Montana Raft. And uh, kind of pan around here, it's the office. And I'll get some shots of everything else. But we should be having fun. Fly fishing, I've never done. It's on a bucket list. And uh, my fishing buddy, Tony, who the reason we're up here is he got married the other day. So we're gonna say hello to Tony. Hey, Tony. Yo, yo. So we're going to be fishing together, and here's our guide. Well, and our guide's name is Tanner. Tanner. So Tanner's going to make sure we catch a lot of fish and not drown today. Uh, he's got a big task ahead of him because I think we're going to be drinking too, right? Oh, uh, you want a drink? Uh -huh. All right. So we'll catch back with you guys in a bit. Okay, here we are launching the boat. Okay, here we go. How many horsepower are we? <laughs> so I promise to make every effort not to tip the boat over. It, it doesn't tip. Design the sink, don't tip. You shouldn't have said that, because you know I'll tip it now. <laughs> All right. Now we're going to get instructions. We're going to work a lot of the edges of the currents, 
kind of where fish are resting. A lot of that foam stuff holds is a good food, you know, it's a good source of food for them. But like I said, you know, the old school method is like the thaw too. Like you can, like you can. You bring it back to two, let it unravel, and bring it back over to ten. It just kind of, like I said, just it's a real finesse movement. It's real smooth. It's not, you're not using any muscle. All you're doing is kind of letting it unravel behind you. Sending it. You want to keep your wrist and your elbow straight. And use your whole arm. Got it. Your whole arm sending that fly out. Okay. And I, and I don't like to set, tell, like, kind of throw too much at people, but I kind of come down at a 45 degree angle just to drive it a little harder. Okay. Um, but yeah, like I said, 10 and 2. And all, and like, you know, that's enough line to start working with, but when you want to start, you know, peeling out a little bit more line, all you got to do is. Pull a little bit more line. You use the tension from the water. Pull it out and send it back out. You know, I, and I, if I could stress one thing, it's keep your rock, your wrist, and your elbow locked out tight. Use your whole arm. All right, those are instructions. And, well, what we're too, and like when we're when we're anchored too, we're going to be throwing upstream and letting it float down to oh, okay. us. And like you kind of want the line flowing floating down, with, down the with the flies. Yeah. Um, you don't want the line too far downstream like that. If it gets downstream, I'm gonna yell mend. All you're gonna do is pick the tip of your rod up, bring it behind or in line with it. So the pause on the back pass is important. Yeah, a, lot of, a lot of guys will oh, wanna rush it, you know, and it'll kind of just bunch up on the water. So the pause, let it unla un unravel behind you and send it back out. So the pause is pretty key on the uh, on the backstroke. That's but, just uh, basic physics. You just yeah. gotta let the line collect over there and then throw it. Indeed. And then like, uh, so when a fish surfaces to eat that, you're gonna give him that split second to let him take it, and pull it up again, just like you're gonna okay. recast it, you know what I mean? It's just typical same hook set as any other fishing you've ever done. Right. Send it. Cool. There you go. Got one. There you go. They got and they got two orange cuts on the bottom of there. Oh, this is perfect. Hey guys. Give a wave. Oh, we got six already. And here we are again with a, yet another tangle that I caused because I wasn't watching and I hooked up on the oar. It was an epic fail. It was another epic fail. <laughs> That's right. You can never win unless you play. Oh, look at that. That's cool. All right, we're back from our uh, fly fishing excursion. Here are the boys. You guys want to get on camera? Say hi. <laughs> Hey! He caught four? Yeah. You caught three? Tony caught three. I caught a big donut. <laughs> a big donut. <laughs> but I got my lines tangled a lot, so I made our guide really work. <laughs> it's 
did. So anyway, we had a lot of fun. There's our guides behind us. Getting the boat saw back up on the trailer. And that'll be it for today. So it was a lot of fun. It was a good experience. I caught nothing. But it was fun. <laughs> Don't forget to hit that little like button, subscribe, and little bell to notify you when I'm releasing another video. That's it for this excursion. Have a great bucket list day, and I'll see you next time. Bye. Hey, bucket list buddies. Welcome to another episode of My Bucket List Day. Hey, everybody. Welcome to another day of My Bucket List Day. Did I say that wrong? You weren't supposed to come in yet. Well, I wanted to. <laughs> okay. Step back out. You never let me come in when I want. <laughs> yes.